15 things you didn't know about Coco Chanel. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, my dear Aluxers, and welcome back to another Alux.com original video. Today, we're taking a look at one of the most influential fashion icons of all time. Coco Chanel is one of the most powerful women in the world of fashion. Born in 1883 in Maine et Loire, France, she managed to create her own empire in a world ruled by men. She was their equal, and sometimes she was even better than them. The nonconformist designer will always be one of the most influential figures in the fashion industry simply because she established the basic modern woman's look. Here are 15 things you might not know about Coco Chanel. Number 1. She was a cabaret singer at first, living off the tips she would make when the plate was passed among the audience, and they would tip her in appreciation of her performance. Number 2. Coco isn't her real name. Gabrielle Chanel acquired the name Coco while she was singing, when she became identified with the popular songs of Coco Rico. Later, she would tell everyone that Coco is the nickname given to her by her father. Number 3. She introduced pants for women. Coco Chanel outraged the fashion world when she wore pants in Venice to make traveling by gondola easier. Coco Chanel decided that there was no comfortable way to ride a horse while wearing a long skirt, so she decided to do something about it. Number 4. Coco Chanel gave us the best-selling perfume in the world. Chanel Number 5. The perfume was launched in 1921 and had its place in history secured when Marilyn Monroe was asked what she wore to bed and she answered, just a few drops of Chanel number 5. Number 5. She grew up at an orphanage. When Chanel was 12, her mother died of bronchitis. Her father sent her two brothers to work at a farm and he left the three sisters to an orphanage. She started from zero and built one of the biggest names in fashion. Number 6. She stepped into the world of fashion by designing hats. Coco Chanel learned the art of sewing at the orphanage. She became a licensed milliner in 1910 and opened a boutique at 21 Rue Cambon, Paris, named Chanel Modet. Her first clients were simple women, but the important figures soon followed. Number 7. She lived in a hotel for more than 30 years. In her twilight years, Coco Chanel lived a solitary life, residing at the Hotel Ritz in Paris, where she passed away in 1971 at the age of 87. During the day, she stayed at her apartment, underneath her atelier, but she spent the nights at the Ritz. Every day after she left the hotel, the porter would call an employee who would spray the staircase before her arrival. Number 8. Coco Chanel invented the women's suit. Chanel revolutionized women's fashion when she freed them from the dresses in which one can't move. Coco Chanel also liberated women from the dresses who weren't made for action. The famous Chanel suit has a military-inspired jacket, pad pockets, and buttons that look like jewelry. Number 9. She had a bitter personality. Coco Chanel never missed an opportunity to criticize her contemporaries. She accused Christian Dior of dressing women like armchairs and said that she admired Balenciaga's designs but questioned his ability to cut. In 1954, the year of her return, she was interviewed by Vogue. In her interview, she told them that she had always been copied by others. Number 10. The lion was her spirit animal. Gabrielle Chanel was born under the Leo star sign, and this will be reflected in her work. All her life, she kept a lion statue next to her cigarettes and scissors. Also, the lion can be seen engraved on the buttons of her tweed suits. I am a Leo, and like him, I show my claws to protect myself, 
she said, but believe me, I suffer more by clawing than being clawed. Number 11. Black was her favorite color. Although white, beige, gold, and red are emblematic for Chanel, black was her favorite color. For Coco Chanel, black revealed a woman's radiance and accentuated the essential. This color also recalls the nun's veils at the orphanage. Number 12. She had close ties with the Nazis. Declassified documents of the French secret services revealed that Coco Chanel was registered as a member of the Abwehr, a German espionage group. Coco Chanel spent most of the war staying at the Hotel Ritz in Paris, sharing close quarters with Nazi general officers, agents, and spies. She was an informant. Number 13. She was seen crying only once. Boy Capel was an English polo player, but he is best known as Gabrielle Chanel's lover. The two met in 1909 when she was the mistress of his friend, Etienne Balson. Capel introduced the young girl to literature and was the one who financed Coco Chanel's first shops. His style was also an inspiration for Chanel that contributed to the creation of the Chanel look. Boy Capel died in a car accident in 1919. This was the first and last time Coco Chanel was seen to cry. Either I die as well or I finish what we started together, she said, and she did not give up. Number 14. She found fame in America. After the Second World War, Coco Chanel chose her lucky number as the date of her grand return. On the 5th of February, 1954, Chanel watched her models on the runway. The French press ridiculed her designs and age. However, Coco Chanel was to find fame in America. Life, the most popular and read magazine in America, wrote, At 71 years of age, Gabrielle Chanel brings more than style, a revolution. Number 15. She designed her own tombstone. At her funeral, the first seats were occupied by her models, and her coffin was covered with white flowers. Coco Chanel is buried in Switzerland. Her headstone was designed by the designer herself and features the emblematic lion. Without stone above me, I would like to leave if I had the wish to go to heaven and dress the angels, she said. What do you think about Coco Chanel's association with the Nazis? Does this change the way you now look at the brand? Let us know in the comments. Because you stuck with us up to this point, we have a special fact for you. Number 16. Chanel Grand Extrait is the third most expensive perfume in the world. At alux.com, we rank the most expensive things in the world, and one of our most popular rankings is the perfumes. Few people know that Chanel has an exclusive collection called the Grand Extrait, which features three scents of their most iconic perfumes in the best and purest form, with each retailing at $4,200 per ounce. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxer. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you want more, we handpicked these videos you might enjoy, or head over to alux.com for the best in fine living content on the planet. Be a part of the largest community of luxury enthusiasts in the world and tell your story. Oh, you're still here? Fine, here's another fact. Chanel is the first brand to have a waiting list for nail polish.